Here are some tips and tricks you can use to prepare your fields faster and more efficiently in Farming Simulator 22, as well as a really good general overview on the proper work order for your field. Here I am in Farming Simulator 22. I, we are using some mods. So one thing I want to say is we are using some mods in this video, but anyone has access to mods on the Mod Hub and any ones that are affecting, which there will be some that you can use for little tricks in preparing your field, I will mention those ahead of time before we use them. I want to show you some tricks with working with field status as it can be a little bit confusing. Now the options I have in my game, let's go ahead and pull up my map here. The options I'm using, I don't have weeds on. I don't, I think most people probably don't play with weeds. I just find them just annoying. So I'm not playing with weeds. This is not addressing weeds. Now that said, this video, um, this is a general overall guide for field work order and tips and tricks. And there will be many here. Some will have, there's going to be more videos to cover other things. So just ahead of time, know that. So let's look at um, soil composition here. Now I do have needs plowing turned on and that's just so I can show you just a little bit about plowing and then I'll probably turn that off. I think I usually play with plowing off and weeds off because I find those bothersome. But right now I do have plowing on. So a lot of people ask, when do I need to plow my field? You only need to plow your field if you have needs plowing turned on in the options and your fields are red. That's basically the answer to that. And then some people may ask, well, what's the difference between a spader, a subsoiler, a plow? And the answer to that is, well, nothing. Anything that takes away, let's hop in a tractor here, anything that takes away the plowed status of a field. Right here, we have a subsoiler. It really shouldn't matter. Now, this, this field says needs plowing. I'm gonna turn the plowing off in a second. I just wanted to address this first. Here we have a subsoiler. We're just going to drop this down, and all we're trying to do is just take away the red status. Now, different tools are going to put your field in a different state. Some, see here, it looks like it's covered in straw. Some may put it in just the bare dirt status. Don't worry about any of that. So that's, there's one tip, number one, right there. Don't worry about that. Tip number two is something that will come into play and will be mentioned further in a different video. Don't worry too much about horsepower requirements. Let's check our map. And you see it's cleared the red status here. It's cleared the red status. The orange right there is simply some rocks that I dug up. And you see, since I've cleared the red status, let's do a little bit more. So subsoiler, plow, whatever, it's gonna clear the red status if you have needs plowing on. Now you see it's turning up some medium-sized rocks, hence the orange, and it's showing underneath it, it needs lime. I pulled a couple of plows out here for use, but that's really all you need to know about that. I'd like to make this video short and concise and top, you know, uh, and touch on these topics a little bit later. So all my plows and my subsoiler can kind of sit off by the wayside. That's really all you have to know about them. I'll show you the option because I'm going to turn it off right now. And it's going to be right here. Per periodic plowing required off. With it off, you don't ever need to use a plow. So all of those questions, and then, okay, so then why are there subsoilers, spaders, plows, etc. in the game? There's a lot of things in the game that you don't have to use, and they're put there in case you want, it's a realism kind of thing. For instance, do you have to use a cultivator or a disc harrow, or a shallow cultivator or a regular cultivator? There are different tools here to use so that you can use things that you might use on your farm in real life, or that people you know, or things that you've seen in real life. Really, it's pretty black and white and simple like that. Um, so you don't need several stages of plowing or anything like that. Now that I've turned plowing off, okay, we can dispense with that. Now, here's one thing I want to move to right now. You can see right here, there's a spotch of dark purple on my map because the mulch status is on. I want to talk a bit about mulch status. You know what? For now, Let's just turn that off. I usually run with this off, and I'll explain why on that in a minute. Let's work with from the most basic stuff here. Okay, let's move on to field work order, and I'll try to mention tips as I go along, and I'll try to put this in such an order that it makes sense. So let's start from the beginning with field prep. All right, and there's some really good tricks up here, especially regarding lime. It's my lime card over there. Got some great tricks regarding lime that I think you're going to like. A lot of people may not... Um, think of this little trick we have first though let's start with field prep so let's start with a field that is that needs harvesting okay 
with harvesting. Regarding this, here is where I'm going to mention a mod. There's three mods that affect field prep that are very handy to have, and one of them I'm going to mention here, and I think this one might be on the mod hub. I actually didn't check. This one should be on the mod hub because I've used it for years so long that I don't remember where I got it from, and it's called Chopped Straw. It's a very good and immersive quality of life mod. It's called Chopped Straw, and what it does is when you disable the straw swath on the harvester, it spreads the straw out you know, like it does in the game, except wherever it hits, it lays down one stage of fertilization. We will address stages of fertilization and how you can actually, you can get a field fully fertilized completely, you know, as you plant without having to come back later. We're going to cover that. We'll cover fields, sorry, we'll cover stages of fertilization. I want to mention that because what we're going to do is we're going to hop in the harvester here. Now, my straw swath should be on. Straw swath is on. So we're going to do... A couple of rows with the straw swath on. We're gonna do, we'll say, let's just do one. We're gonna do one row, regular, with the straw swath on. Let's check out this field growth. Okay, so now, obviously, since I've harvested it, it's gone to the stage of harvested. We look at soil composition, nothing. No fertilizer, nothing. All right, it does need lime. Always remember, if you turn a filter off, you know, remember that that filter's off. But there's no fertilization. That's what I wanted to show you. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to disable my straw swath. All right, so now our straw swath is off. Now wherever the fertilizer goes, notice here, let's let it update. See, now it's laying a strip of blue. It's laying down one stage of fertilization. That's what the chopped straw mod does. It's very handy and I find it, yeah, I think it's realistic and it's a good quality of life mod. I think a lot of people run it and I believe it's available on Mod Hub. Now, since I stopped there and then started again, it's only where the, uh, the chopped straw, where it sprays. So if you look at thing, you can see there's a couple, I can't zoom in any farther, but you can see that there's a couple little areas where it didn't hit. So that's one way you can do it. Okay, so now that, let's say our field is harvested, we got two strips done here. I've done two strips in slightly different ways. You can see this one was with the straw swath, which I've removed, and this is with just the chopped straw sprayed everywhere. So they have different fertilization states. Now here is where we have quite a few little tips and tricks that we can throw in because now field prep officially can begin because the field is now plowed and cleared. And we have two different, we'll say, fields here, right? This one's not fertilized, no fertilization state, and this one has one stage of fertilization. Now, we're not, this video is not covered with, you know, the bounds of precision farming. We're not discussing precision farming here, just the base game. Perhaps I should have laid that out. So in the base game, there are only two stages of fertilization. Now, one trick that you may or may not know you do not have to wait a growth stage in between fertilization stages. There's two fertilization stages, you know, the light blue and the dark blue. You do not have to wait in between a growth stage. You just have to do some kind of working phase in between them. For instance, and there's another trick here too. One thing we can do, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you my work order. What we're going to do is I'm going to lay down lime. There's a trick with lime I'll mention here in a second. I'm going to lay down lime and then I'm going to lay down fertilizer. Now, one trick with lime is you can use lime at any stage you want during the growth of a field before seeding. Before seeding, you can put lime down anywhere. So you can mix up between the orders of cultivation, lime, fertilizer. You can do those in any order you want so long as it's done before seeding, okay? Now, lime can be shifted around that order to make some tasks more visible. And I'll show you that in a second meaning that sometimes it's hard to tell depending on the kind of seed bed that you get depending on if your seed bed looks like this or if it looks like this or if it's clear dirt sometimes some work you do in the field may be hard to, hard to discern like for instance some kind of some kinds of cedars kind of look the same as just cultivated ground right i think you know what i'm talking about and you can't see the difference you can fertilize in between different stages, I'm sorry, lime in between different stages so that now your ground is white and when you work over it, which you'll see here in a moment, I just wanted to explain before we get there. So when you work over it, it clears it. Now, so we can do anything in any order. I'm gonna show you the order that I prefer to do things in and that is I prefer to lime first and then we're gonna put fertilizer on it. 
using the, the thing with visibility with liming, sometimes it's a little difficult to see where you fertilize because it only makes the ground a little bit darker. Let's grab my lime spreader. But if you lime first and then put the fertilizer over the lime, it's obviously, oh, it's already hooked up to a tractor over here. It's obviously very easy to see where you fertilized because it erases the lime. So this is the order I do it in. It makes everything very visible. Now, we have our little test field here. Half of it's already got one stage of fertilization. Half of it doesn't. That's not going to matter with our, with our work order because the order we're going to do things in will get everything fully fertilized at the time of planting. So this needs lime. So let's go ahead and let's turn that back on. We can see right here it needs lime. I like to put, I mean, I think as far as immersion goes, I like to throw on lime before I turn up the earth anyway. I figure when you go through and you till the ground, it kind of works the lime into the ground. It makes sense to me. I like to till before I do any work. Now, some people here would mulch. Now, there's a note on mulchers I would like. Some people say mulch first. I'm not a big fan of mulching, and there's a mod and a little tip here as far as that goes. Now, one thing regarding mulching, this is not about min-maxing your field. This is simply how to work your field and have everything work for you. It's not about how to get like plus 100% yield. I'm not concerned with that. Mulching can sometimes be really difficult to see where you've gone. First of all, many of the mulchers in the game have a very small working width, which can make it difficult and frustrating for large fields. Wow, this tractor has very little brakes. Secondly, Sometimes it's easy to tell where you've mulched. For instance, here, we have mulched whatever was growing here, wheat. But have you ever tried mulching on, say, sorghum? I believe it's sorghum. You can't even tell where you've been. It's very frustrating. I think it might be sorghum. It's, some, it's one of the crops. I forget because I don't use mulchers. I have a mulcher here. This mulcher is one that's in the game, I believe, and it's made to attach to the front of your vehicle, and you would run this in front and a cultivator or something behind. Now, that would work because you can see where you've been because technically, if you mulch before you cultivate, you get a little more yield. Well, here's a tip. There is a mod. It's not on the Mod Hub, unfortunately, but for you PC users, it's called Discaro Mulcher, and that's what I use. And what it does is it gives every discar every Discaro, like this one right here, this is an in-game Discaro, it gives them the ability to mulch as you go. It's a great quality of life mod, as simple as that. That's all it does. Discaro Mulcher. It just makes it so that when you disc, you mulch too. So you don't have to worry about that. A lot of the mulchers in the game, as I said, have a small working width. And sometimes with different crops or soil types, it's hard to tell where you've been. And I do not like squinting at my field. And I don't like running a little three meter thing down a 20 hectare field. This Carl Mulcher is a great quality of life mod. There's three mods I'm going to mention. Chop Straw was the first one. Disc Carl Mulcher is the next one I'm mentioning. It's great. So now that we have thrown down lime, what we can do is I could go through and disc this. That's what I do. Now, cultivators can be the same. Cultivator, disc caro, they're going to do the same thing. It all does the same thing. Uh, they put different tools in the game for different levels of realism, however you want to work your field. So we could till this, disc this, whatever. It does the same thing. Some of them dig up rocks, some don't. Um, rocks we can address later in this video or in a separate video. Some of this will be into separate videos, so I can try to keep this as short as possible. All right, so we could disc this next, which will then leave, well, it depends what your, what your, uh, what tool you're using is, you know, it could leave like, it could leave different looks, but however it looks, if we were to disc this and then fertilize it, part of it will be slightly darker and part not, it could be kind of hard to tell. So the best thing to do next, if you want it to look good, nice and easy is fertilization. So let's hop back in our tractor here and let's grab a fertilizer. Fertilizing, this is the best time to fertilize right now because since we have the lime down, it's clearly very easy to see where we fertilize because it'll simply take the lime away. So that one part already has where we, where we turned off the swath, that one part already has one stage of fertilization on it. Yeah. This work order I'm going to show you works regardless. If you have one stage of fertilization already or not, we'll get the field fully fertilized. You don't need to lay down the chopped straw, that's a plus, but you don't need it. Because we put the lime down first and then fertilize, it's very easy and very clear to see where we put the fertilizer. Now look here, we can see we can see where we've limed. That area no longer requires lime. Let's go ahead and turn our liming filter off. Now you can see, because that area already had one step of fertilization because I used the chopped straw. 
and then I went over and fertilized everything else. So everything else has one stage. So see, I've already reached the second stage of fertilization on that one strip right there. You do not have to wait in between growth cycles. You can, and we can do it all before prep because I laid down that chopped straw and then the lime counts as a step and then the fertilizer over it, it took it to the second step. Now, does that mean you can fertilize, lay down lime and then fertilize? I'm actually not sure. I don't think so. I think this only worked this way because of the chopped straw mod. Regardless, we're going to get a second stage of fertilization down here. Usually I run a disc in between and that is enough to do it. Or if that doesn't do it, seeding will definitely do it. You can do all your fertilization and before anything even sprouts, of course. So the next thing we're going to do, and I like to, I like to work in what I feel is a realistic order of operations. We've harvested, we have laid down lime and fertilizer, and now we're going to work it into the soil. I think that's realistic. Now I do have a mod that will mulch as we go along. I said I was going to mention mulching later and I guess I will mention it right now. I usually have my mulching filter turned off because if you have mulched on, it seems to override every other one of these filters. And no matter what you're doing on your field, if you go to soil comp, it will show your field as a big purple blob. I, I don't know why, but it overrides everything else. If it's mulched, then everything's just a big blob of purple. I turned it off. Um, it really doesn't matter. I use, as I said, I use the mod Discaro Mulcher. That field needed lime. Not every field needs lime. If a field needs lime, I put lime down. And again, then again, that's a good time to put fertilizer because you can clearly see where you've been. So this is basically like, but if a field doesn't need lime, if a field doesn't need lime, I generally do this right after I harvest the field. It mulches all the crop stalks and it's gonna lay down again. It depends what kind of tool you're using, but for me, it lays down this kind of looking bed. And disc harrows don't kick up rocks. They are shallow cultivators. They don't kick up rocks. So that's good because field stones are annoying. Am I right? Of course, you can use whatever tool you want for immersion. It's, it's not to, it really doesn't matter. And that's kind of the whole thing of this is a lot of people want to know what order to work their field in when in reality, it, it doesn't matter that much. Now that we've mulched this, we can lay down a second layer of fertilization right now. And before we even seed, we can hit the second stage of fertilization. Now you can see right here, see where the spray is going down. See how some of it's light. That part that's light is because that already has the second stage of fertilization. And this part over here that's dark is because it's putting down the second stage of the fertilization. I'll show you on the map, but of course you can see right here, we already have the second stage of fertilization because we did things in what I think is a good, I think it's a quality and it, it makes sense. The work order that we've done here makes sense, right? So we look at the map. See, we now have both stages of fertilization. Now that brings us to, I have planters out. You can have cedars, planters. They do the same thing, only different crops. This one seeds directly, as in this one just seeds, I should say, rather. This one just seeds. This one, notice the tanks, of course. This one seeds and fertilizes. We don't need to fertilize. We already have two stages of fertilization. I was going to use these, but I don't think I need to use these now. This field is now ready to plant notice fertilization 100 percent it's already 100 percent fertilized we can now go ahead and just use a regular planter that doesn't have fertilization or you can use this one and i don't think it'll i'm not sure if i don't think it'll use the fertilization i don't think it'll use the fertilizer if it's already fertilized there's still more and as i said i do want other videos on more specific topics but i wanted one video to cover it all i hope i answered all any questions you may have on work order and to sum it all up, really, it doesn't matter too much. As long as you harvest the crop, break up the ground, and you don't even have to do that. Technically, if you have a cedar that can put it directly into the crop, a lot of cedars, like seed drills, will drill the seeds in directly into harvested land, and you don't even need to do this. It, a lot of it is simply how you want to do it for your quality of game and what feels most immersive to you, and that's why they provided us an array, the array of tools that they have. There are some more things I wanted to mention. I was going to get to rolling, but I think I can leave rolling in another episode that's more focused on that because rolling rolling doesn't really matter. I'm not a big fan of rolling. I will have a separate video for that apparently because uh, this video has gone longer than I wanted to. I just wanted to show you guys as much as I could. There was a third mod I said I would mention and I shall. 
and it's I believe it's called create fields with cultivator something like that and it allows you to instead of just a plow any tool such as a cultivator or a discaro or anything will pop up in the help menu up there allow create fields it's a really handy tool I believe it's called create fields with cultivator and it should be widely available I'm not sure and I'll, it's it's not worth mentioning here it's simply if you're creating fields you can use that that is the third mod I was going to mention all right guys that is it for this video I wanted to give an overall thing for field work and it basically is that as I've said it's it's not it doesn't matter too much you saw we could easily get two steps of fertilization before we even put the seeds down chop straw is great and fun and immersive these are some of these mods are great quality of life mods and they can increase immersion if you want anyway guys thanks so much for watching that's it for this video there will be more in this series be sure to leave a comment below tell me what you think if you like the video click that like button and if you think i've earned a subscription definitely subscribe to the channel and follow along with my farming simulator 22 video series thanks so much i'll catch you guys in the next one